morning. The time is now 9.30. I will call the October 9th, 2018 meeting of the Milford Township Board of Supervisors to order. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on our agenda is public comment on agenda items other than development or rezoning applications. Would anyone care to address the board regarding this morning's agenda? Hearing none, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. Is there a motion to approve the September 25th minutes? Yes, I'll uh, move to approve as drafted. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Groh? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item is the approval of the bills. Is there a motion to approve the bills? Yes, I will move to approve both of them. Keep in mind that there was an additional uh, packet. Am I correct on that, Cheryl? So there was two, and then they're all the same under the same bill. So uh, both sets, uh, both batches of bills, I move to approve. Is there a second? I'll second that. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Buck? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item is bids and quotes. Uh, we only have uh, one item today a tree trimming request from the Public Works Department. Uh, this was tabled from our September 25th meeting. Uh, Mr. Snyder. Good morning, gentlemen. We are seeking permission to have 24 trees trimmed on uh, Equitable Drive. This is the entrance to the subdivision. Uh, they have become overgrown and people can't drive through the park path. Uh, so we got three quotes. One was from Leopold Tree Service for $1,800. Uh, Dibble Tree Service was again $1,800. Jefferson Tree Service was $1,440. Uh, it would be my recommendation to award the tree trimming to Jefferson Tree Service. Uh, we have not used Mr. Jefferson in a while, so I think that's why we've got the price we did out of him. That would be my recommendation. Any questions or comments from the board? No. Nope. Is there a motion to approve uh, Jefferson Tree Service at a total cost of $1,440? Uh, for the tree trimming services. Yes, I'll move on that. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is a public hearing on a petition requesting a change in zoning classification. Uh, Mark J. and Sharon Gerlock for property located at 4250 Westridge Road, now zoned C2 Commercial, requesting a change to I-1 Light Industrial. Uh, Mr. Waldinger or Mr. Buzz, care to address the board? Yes, uh, at the regular meeting on September 5th, 2018, and in concurrence with the recommendation of the Erie County Department of Planning, the Mill Creek Township Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the proposed rezoning at 4250 West Ridge Road from C2 General Commercial to I-1 Light Industrial. Are there any questions regarding this matter? Any questions from the board? Does anyone present speak on behalf of the rezoning request? Morning, uh, Jim Welka, 3200 West 32nd Street. I represent the Gerlocks and their petition for this rezoning. They've been now uh, using this property in this fashion for an excess of 20 years. Um, they don't do any selling out of this area for wholesale or retail, all of the sales is done out of their other facilities. They just use this area to screen and stockpile topsoil as they have for the uh, past 20 years. Since that time uh, when this came, when we became aware that the zoning wasn't appropriate, uh, we've met with the DEP and uh, I've uh, applied for and received the appropriate permits with regard to soil erosion and sedimentation control as well as a restoration plan to return certain areas uh, to their uh, native vegetative state. We're going to be condensing the operation from its current size to less than one acre in size. Okay. Any questions from the board? No. Uh, it, it appears there's a, a residential property uh, on the parcel. Is that currently a, a residence or is that an office for it's, the business? 
strange piece of par parcel of land that's actually owned by Mill Creek Township. It is zoned R1 residential. Uh, no, no, sir. I'm talking about uh, along the, the frontage of Westridge Road. The house that's on the, the house on the piece that's being rezoned. Oh, on on the Gerlock parcel. Yes, on yes, the parcel there, question. there is a house out front. Yes, and it's, it's currently being used for residential purposes. Yes, it is non-conforming use. Yes. Yeah. The operation takes place behind and below that house. <coughs> uh, Mr. Puzzer, Mr. Walder, and Mr. Shaw, with the, the zoning request is that does, does non-conforming use continue or we? need to ask these folks to discontinue this use if we change the, the zoning of, on the property by their request? Well, it was legally established, and as it's not permitted under the current zoning ordinance, current zoning district, I would assume that it would, it would be permitted as a non-conforming use in the I-1 district as well. Okay. Would anyone else care to address the board regarding this rezoning request? Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. All right, with that, is there a motion regarding the request? Yes, I'll move to uh, to approve the rezoning request for the subject property. Is there a second? I'll second that. Okay. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is Resolution 2018-R41, a resolution pursuant to Resolution 2015-R20 in the Municipal Records Manual to approve proposed disposition of certain township records. Uh, this is a routine item on our agenda uh, to authorize the uh, uh, removal of certain township records. Uh, today, uh, we'll be voting on uh, Milk Creek Township Police dash cam videos uh, that will be deleted uh, once they've reached the maturity date uh, between the dates of October 10th and October 23rd, 2018. Any questions or comments from the board? No. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2018-R41? Yes, I'll move to approve that resolution. Is there a second? I'll second that. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is the 1094C and 1095C Administration Service Agreement. I'm not sure who I'm throwing that to, Mark. Yes, the, uh, this is required. The, these forms are required under the ACA. It's how they go about checking who has uh, insurance, and they do it a cross-check against people buying insurance and in exchange because they're not allowed subsidies. This is how that's all handled. One is the actual form that goes to the employee. One is the transmittal that goes to the IRS. It's just a summation of the number of people. Uh, the prices are the same as last year, and the agreement is the same except for naming Hub International instead of BAI. BAI was acquired by Hub International last year, and uh, I recommend approving the agreement because they have the fundamental records to be able to do this. They have all the census data and who was in and who was out and all that. Okay. Any questions from the board? No, I'm good with it. Mr. Shaw? Right. Is there a motion to approve the service, uh, the 1094C and 1095 administration services agreement with HUB? Yes, I'll move to approve both service agreements with HUB. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bach? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item is here, stormwater maintenance and management request. This is for the townhomes, 26th Street, NLA, Real Estate Holdings, LLC is the developer. Uh, Mr. Walder. Thank you, good morning. Uh, NLA Real Estate Holdings, LLC has submitted a stormwater maintenance agreement to the township for their development, the uh, townhomes at 26th Street. Um, the agreement is the township approved form. It has been signed by the developer. GPI, the township's contracted third party engineering firm, has approved the stormwater plans. So we recommend that the uh, stormwater maintenance agreement be approved as well as the plans. Any questions or comments from the board? This is just a typical 
procedure that we have on these yes, land Yes, yeah, this so requires the developer, new. the developer maintain uh, the system and it's, right. uh, they're put on notice that they are the owner of the right. system, not the township. Okay. And, and if I could add, the, the agreement specifically calls for, because this, if you recall, this is where the, uh, all, the all the rainwater uh, stormwater would be infiltrated. Uh, it does call for uh, that system to be inspected twice a year, once in the spring and the fall, uh, as well as after each significant uh, runoff event, which is defined as half an inch or more of, of rainfall. Um, also, if the infiltration system fails for some reason, uh, it imposes upon uh, the owner the uh, obligation to repair and, and fix that failure. So um, I know there were issues raised with respect to this system. Um, this agreement would give the township the authority to require the owner to, to correct any problems that should arise out in the future. Okay. Of course, at their cost. To at, their their, cost. At, at their cost. Uh, it also um, enables the township to proceed if they fail to do so, to make the corrections, and then the township would have a lien on uh, right. for the cost of that. So. Okay. Right. Any further okay. questions? Nope. Is there a motion to approve the stormwater ma stormwater management plan and maintenance agreement uh, with the townhomes at 26th Street? Yes, I'll move on that action. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove. Yes. Mr. Bond. Yes. And I vote yes. Next item on our agenda is agreement with the County of Erie to administer the Community Development Block Grant Program on behalf of Mill Creek Township. Mr. Waldinger. Thank you. Um, the Erie County Department of Planning and Development has forwarded an agreement to the Township for the Chairman's signature. This agreement is between the Township and Erie County for administration of the Township's fiscal year 2018 community development block grant program. This agreement outlines the scope of services that the county will provide to administer the CDBG, CDBG program on Mill Creek's behalf. The county is entitled to 11.8% of our CDBG allocation to provide these services. Um, these services are valuable uh, to the township because they relieve us of the burden that's associated <coughs> with administering and complying with the grant reporting requirements. Uh, the funds for these services are withdrawn directly from the grant and are not any township general funds. For those re uh, reasons, I recommend that the board approve this agreement and that the chairman be authorized to sign it. Thank you, Mr. Waldinger. Any questions or comments from the board? Well, I think it's a good idea. So it's a yearly thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, with that, is there a motion to approve uh, the agreement with the County of Erie to administer the township CDBG program? Yes, I'll move to approve that agreement with the county. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bob? Yes. And I vote yes. Next item is the Erie Center on Health and Aging Community Development Block Grant Agreement. Mr. Waldinger. Thank you. Uh, this agreement also relates to our CDBG program. Um, this is an agreement prepared by Erie County Department of Planning and Community Development between the Township and the Erie Center for Health and Aging, uh, also known as LifeWorks Erie. It details the terms under which LifeWorks Erie will receive $10,000 of Mill Creek's fiscal year 2018 CDBG allocation to provide health screenings, vaccinations, and health educations and workshops at various delivery locations in Mill Creek Township. Um, the LifeWorks Erie has signed the agreement which states that they will comply with all terms and responsibilities that accompany the receipt of CDBG funds. Uh, the services that LifeWorks Erie provides are eligible for this funding and they also meet the goals of the township's five-year CDBG consolidated plan. So for those reasons I recommend that the board approve the agreement and that the chair be authorized to sign the same. Any questions or comments from the board? None from me. Give me a here. I just yeah. want to make a kind of clarifying statement. The agreement states this is for a senior center, and that's not actually the case. I think it's a, it says for regional senior center operational support, which is not an accurate description of what we're asking folks to do. It's for senior services to be provided in the township building. So I just want to clarify for anyone who might receive this agreement that we're funding a senior center. We are not. Uh, we're contracting out certain. Uh, senior services or health screenings to be held in, in the building. Mm -hmm. Just want to clarify that. Thank you. And we might want to clarify Mr. Burtis next year to change that title. Okay. Yeah. 
Is there a motion to approve the agreement with LifeWorks? Yes, I'll move to approve with, with the comments noted that you made there, John. Is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bonk? Yes. And I vote yes. Next on our agenda is McDowell High School traffic request for the homecoming parade. Mr. Bach or Mr. Grove, care to? Yeah, I can talk a little bit about it. Uh, unless Jim did the company, Go ahead, please. John. Okay, just a couple things. Uh, the McDowell homecoming parade is this Friday, the 12th. Um, at this time, uh, the north gate of the intermediate school will be opened. Normally, it is closed all the time, but we do. Uh, allow the gate to be opened uh, for staging of uh, any of the parade floats or, or groups that are in it. Uh, that's where the parade starts at. Uh, it comes down Homestead Drive, then across uh, Meadow, and then back, no, down to 27th Street, I'm sorry, and then back over to Cahey Road, and then south on Cahey Road, uh, finalizing at the parking lot at McDowell High School. Uh, there will be police uh, presence there. Uh, traffic will be closed, uh, will be prohibited there on Cahey Road between the hours of 5 and 6.30, I think are the times. And uh, just, you know, I know the weather doesn't look real good, at least so far here, but uh, please come out and attend and support uh, the McDowell uh, Trojans, uh, of course, at the football game Friday night, and then also uh, for the parade itself, too. So, uh, that, as I mentioned, that gate uh, will be open. It will be closed once all of the units are through there. So I know there has been some concern in the past, but we have allowed that for the last three or four years now, uh, just for that to be for that gate to be open. So, okay. So we need formal action from the board to authorize that. Uh, I don't know Mr. if we Kirk? really. I don't know if we need to, uh, Mark, Mr. Shaw. Do we need any? Uh, I don't recall if we did in the past or not. So I thought it was a condition of the land development plan for that gate that we had to actually yeah. authorize. Is that? Like ring a bell to you, Mr. Holding? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I, I, I thought it's actually part of the land development plan or something for that for that gate that when it was when it was approved that it would require the township authorizing it to be used. Yeah. I, I know there was for emergency services. Okay. I don't know if it was specifically outlined for this. As well. Right. I, I would I, mean, I would suggest a, a motion okay. that would authorize the opening of the gate <laughs> and the uh, providing of the no parking signs and and, and yes. police support for the homecoming okay. parade. Right. Okay. With that said, I'll make a motion to uh, uh, to take the actions that are needed for this uh, homecoming parade to occur, including opening the gate there at the north side of the intermediate school uh, complex, uh, closing it uh, once upon all the uh, the units have been passed through there, and uh, no parking signs along Homestead, 27th Cahey Road, and uh, that's between the hours of five and six. Or of course, the street will be closed too. So, okay. You get all that, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a second? I'll second. <laughs> Mr. Grove. I vote yes. Mr. Bach. Yes. And I vote yes. <laughs> Next item is the September building construction report. Just a second. Give me a second. Pull this up. Uh, for the month of September. Uh, in the residential aspect of construction permits, uh, there was a construction value. We had three new homes being built. Um, and uh, let's see here, at a total cost of $952,000 of construction value, that is. And in the non-residential commercial aspect, um, there were some porches, garages, uh, sheds, and so on. Uh, construction value, 315000 <coughs> For a grand total of 1.2, or there about 1.2 million dollars of construction value, uh, it, it generated uh, $2,050 in zoning permit fees. Uh, 29 zoning permits were issued. Copies of this will be available. Uh, they'll be available online later this week, and if you need a paper copy, in the uh, zoning department. Thank you, Mr. Grove. Next item is communications. Mr. Zuchewski, anything to report today, sir? Uh, nothing additional. Okay. Uh, travel requests. We've got uh, administration and parks and recreation departments. Mr. Grove? Okay. The one that I submitted there, I'm going to withdraw that. I seem to have a schedule conflict that, that day. I was going to be going to Harrisburg, so I'm going to withdraw that one for today. But I do have one here from the parks department, and uh, I'm proud <coughs> to say, give me a second to pull this up. 
Uh, this comes from uh, Ashley Marsteller, our director of parts, or parks, uh, and she has been uh, invited uh, to attend, uh, at no cost, the Recreation and Conservation and Leadership Summit. Uh, she's requesting uh, the board to give, grant permission to attend the Leadership Summit. Um, it's, it involves uh, going to uh, uh, the Toff Trees in State College. Uh, there is a three-day uh, summit support group uh, to talk about different things with parks, with the DCNR, and um, so it's it's an honor for her to be asked to be attending this because uh, it is only invitation, it's invitation only for this. So uh, she has included that on there. Uh, the cost for it is no cost to the township. The only thing she will have would be, um, let's see, I think it's only going to be the, uh, her, the cost for travel uh, vehicle. I think she'll probably take our vehicle here unless we have other arrangements for it. So that would be the only thing that would be. So all her meals are included and lodging. Okay. So with that, I'll make that in the form of a motion to approve that request. Any questions or comments from the board? Is there a second? I'll second that. All right, Mr. Grove? I vote yes. Mr. Bell? Yes. And I vote yes. And you're withdrawing your request? I'm withdrawing mine there, yeah. I'll have to do that next month. So. All right, next item we have is the Ikedo 2018 Annual Convention, which is for the uh, Erie County Association of Township Officials. Yeah. Uh, I understand Mr. Grove, Mr. Bach, Mr. Zekshevsky are all planning to attend yep. uh, that conference on Friday, October 26th. Uh, total cost of $25 per person. So the uh, authorization for three of you to attend mm -hmm. uh, for a cost not to exceed seventy-five dollars. Is that accurate? Yep. Yep. Any questions or comments? All right. Is there a motion to approve uh, the attendance at the Cato conference? Yes, I'll move to approve that attendance. Is there a second? I'll second that. All right, Mr. Grove. I vote yes. Mr. Bach. Yes. And I vote yes. Next we have Mr. Buck. Okay, we have a request from Police Chief Scott Height. Uh, it's a request for training for Patrolman Drozowski and Kranz to attend the standardized field sobriety testing be held at the Crescent Hose Company in Northeast PA, November 7th through the 9th. No cost for the training. I will put that request in the form of a motion. Right. Any questions or comments? Is second. There, is there a second? Yep. Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Buck? Yes. And I vote yes. That's it for today? Uh, there is a request. No, there's one more for the uh, fire police. Fire police. Did you get yeah. that? I got a copy of it here. Yep. That's from Chief Olette from Westridge. Yeah, Go it ahead. came uh, via Chief Height, uh, who had a request for. Um, Fire Police. The McDowell Cross Country Invitational is uh, this weekend, I believe. Yes, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Browns yeah. Farm. Yeah. So there, uh, it's just a request for uh, to use Fire Police uh, from the West Ridge Hose Company. I don't know if our I don't have any requests for MPD to be used there, but I'm sure they'll be standing by in case they're needed. Um, so that that just came from Chief Ouellette. I think it was just a notification notifying. Uh, oh, we have to authorize. The, yeah, we, we have to. Have to okay, yep. I'll put that request in the form of a motion then. All right, that's to approve uh, use of fire police on September. I'm sorry, October, October, October 13th. 13th. Yep. Uh, Browns Farm. 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Browns Farm for the cross country meet. Yes, yes sir. And there's a second. Yes, I'll second that. Mr. Grove. I vote yes. Mr. Bob. Yes. And I vote yes. Uh, next is our Halloween trick-or-treat hours. Um, surprisingly, we'll have our trick-or-treat hours on Halloween this year. Man, imagine that. <laughs> Change things up. Uh, <laughs> October 31st, uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. will be the uh, authorized trick-or-treating hours in Mill Creek Township. Student Ambassador Report. Um, 
I'm just, uh, our, obviously, he already mentioned the homecoming parade on Friday, but uh, our football team will be playing Austin Town Fitch after the parade, which is the team we're playing against. Mm-hmm. Um, as well as that, uh, homecoming dance is Saturday, the 13th, and tomorrow is National School Wide Testing Day. We have a half day in Mill Creek Township. Um, the ACTs, the next ones scheduled, are October 27th, which is a Saturday. And I have an event for National Honor Society, which is the first year we're ever doing this. It's going to be called the Trail for a Cause. It's going to be Sunday, October 28th at the David P. Hanlon Community New Sports po- Complex. And it's just going to be a trick-or-treating type of event. And all the clubs will be there representing. And all the proceeds are going to go to Spirits of Children because there will be a $1 fee and donations will obviously be accepted. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next is Solicitor Communications. Mr. Shaw. Uh, yes, we received a, a letter from uh, Tim DeZillo of the Knox Law Firm requesting a, a conflict waiver to enable him to represent uh, a, a couple who owns property on the Wolf Run Drive area uh, related to that uh, subsidence issue that we had. Uh, the township needs an easement uh, and access to their property to repair the, the, the problem uh, and the uh, Conflict waiver requests that he be able to negotiate that easement on behalf of uh, the residents. Um, Knox it, uh, represents the township in, in various uh, matters. Um, I'd not see a, a problem with this. It simply uh, would be helping them understand the easement and, and negotiating any, any particular terms that they'd be interested in. If a true dispute would arise, uh, he would refer the matter to other counsel then. So I would, I would recommend approving uh, the ex- execution of this conflict waiver. Okay. Any questions or comments from the board? Well, this is standard procedure when there is a possible conflict. Correct. You're required under the terms of law to do it. Okay. But that said, I'll move to approve that. That's a move to for the conflict waiver. The conflict waiver, yes. Uh, with the with the lose mark, that would be uh, the conflict waiver would be with the the Knox Law Firm. Knox Law Firm. Is there a second? I'll second. Any questions or comments from the public on this? It was not on the agenda. All right, without a call for a vote, Mr. Grove? Yes. Mr. Bob? Yes. And I vote yes. Mm-hmm. Anything else, Mr. Shaw? Uh, just if the public may recall, there was a resolution some time ago with respect to the uh, Mill Creek Township Sewer Authority, uh, and just uh, that's proceeding along, and there's going to be a closing on the defeasance of the bonds, which is a necessary predicate to uh, to that uh, resolution uh, should be occurring in the, in the near future. So that's moving moving forward. Right. Thank you, sir. September right to know report. Ms. Williams. September was a very busy month. We had 20 requests. Two were granted, two were denied, and 16 were partially denied for a total of 37 and a half hours spent in preparation. Uh, a cost to the requesters of $35.34, which has been re- reimbursed. And Ms. Williams, I think we, we, we talked about this briefly before. Most of these requests are coming from, from, from commercial entities, essentially? Yes. Requesting information regarding site, you know, site development and, and those sorts of site things. Site development, uh, zoning, building violations, fire code violations, right. that sort of thing. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else we go to the order, gentlemen? All right, with that, next item is citizens to be heard. Would anyone care to address the board today? Come on up, sir. Um, if you would please uh, state your name and address for the record, and also if you could sign in on the clipboard, that'd be great. Thank you. I guess time is everything. My name is Dave Tarbell. I live at 3315 Cahey Road. And just in respect to the, on the part of the agenda, the homecoming parade that's coming up this Friday, I was a lucky recipient Sunday to have a water main break in front of my house for the last for oh, nine hours. Yeah. So the street's pretty much a mess right now. So I just wanted to come down and see if maybe something could be done prior to Friday because right. there's stones, gravel, dirt right. and everything. 
pretty yeah. much ran down the road. Right. And I got a call from Art Dedish about. I'm glad you came because I forgot about that. Yeah, Art, I, I, Art you know, just, called me and it could it could be yes. messy for the kids in the in the yeah. traffic. And on us guys, we walk through that too. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a problem, Gary? If the sweeper up there sometimes no, we. Well, yeah. Yeah. You're better break there. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. That's why. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate Thank it. You, Dave. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. <clears throat> Any other? Anyone else care to address the board today? All right. Uh, with that, I'll call for a motion to adjourn at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. I'll move. Is there a second? I'll second that. Uh, we are adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.